Alright, so what is going on? This is a tutorial on how to edit on Share Factory. Just because people like don't have the um, I don't know, like a a PC for example to edit on, and you know phone apps aren't the best. So PS4 is pretty good for the uh, editing a video, such as Share Factory, which is probably the best app on PS4, or might just be the only app Monty sure, actually. Right, so let's get into it. So the first thing is adding a clip, which you know is your video. So let me just randomly select one. Let's go for this one. So let's say I want to find a point where I got like a good clip, and then split. So when you split it, you can like delete that part of the clip that you don't want. So let's go ahead and do that, and get rid of this bit here because you know you don't want this. Get rid of that. So the next thing is you can trim a clip. So you can trim from the start and the end you know, of a game or a clip that you want I want to like shorten. Just like this. And then you have music and track, whether you add that in at the end though. And then the other thing you have is the So let's let's say you you go ahead and split a clip. So you do this. And then you uh split it at another point before you get for example a kill so let me just show you now do that delete this bit out you can add a transition which is better than just doing this and then just go into this bit so instead you just add a cool transition have cinematic ones, you have dissolves, wipes, comics so I think for this sort of thing you just go for like comic ones and just go for anything you want, so like this for example Just adds like a different like level to your to your uh, videos and that. And then split it again at a different point. About here. And then clip it to wherever you got a kill or something else happens, like here. So another really cool thing is like an intro. So what I like to do with this thing is to add a screenshot. Preferably something like this, as like a dark screen and then add transition again and for this one I have to go with the uh, dissolves one so you do this have to have like a title here or say like subscribe and leave a like on that thing so it looks like that and then again you can like split it so it's not as long like so is at the start of the video you can have like like a pre-show of what's going to happen in the video and instead of like adding the same clip and then editing it out again you can just like get a really good moment and then just clone the clip like this so clone it which is that one there and then move it which I have to press L1 and R1 to move it and then I'll just put it wherever I want to you know show it so like here for example and then you can add, if you get into this bit, like an intro, and then you know the actual like, gameplay starts. And split it, delete this part, and then split it again, like so. And with this this bit, you go to the start of the clip by pressing L1 or R1, press square. Okay, to do uh, pan zoom, which is the uh, top right on the far side. So at the moment, it's at 100%. You can aim it in, well, you know, put it all the way up to 300. I don't know why I want to do that though. So I'm going to do about 200, I think. So like that. And then it looks like this. This stuff to you. Oh! Wait, actually, do you want let's, let's trim it one sec. And go, go to pan zoom again. Put it back to 100. Ruthless. Oh. Wait, something, something like that, you know. And obviously, there's like a rough sort of a idea. So then, what you can do is go to Time Bender, which is the top left. Now you can use slow motion or fast, uh, fast pace. So I'll do, I like to do half. Half is usually the best, and then stick with a step. 
So I select that, and then it looks like this. Wait, like that. Me, Let's just reset that again, back to 1. Now something that I really like highly recommend is if you click on a clip, or like a small scene, just press X, go to add filter, it's in the bottom row. Now what I like to do, so you have all these different like shades and uh, like settings and backgrounds you can have for your uh, videos. My favourite one is is this one. Look look at that difference. That that there is quite dull. Go okay, to this bit. Look 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 how bright that is. Ruthless. Do you ever watch this for the entire game? Or that? Ruthless. I think this bit. This one. You know you got the black and white filter for like a Ruthless. dark moment of that. And so for something like this, you can even add the um, pan zoom again. So let's say back to like one, one fifty. I recommend one fifty, in, in between one fifty and two hundred. So another thing I like to do is add like an overlay, which gives it like a just like a better visual like watch. I don't know how to explain it. So add overlay, you have all these things here like stickers, uh, text, and then camera effects. So what you could go for is like a focus like here, for two seconds, and then transition just like, change it by doing the opacity. I'm just going to get rid of the, uh, that bit there so you can't actually see that, which is obviously what you don't want to see. So then it looks like this. It's basically the same as the focus, but just like, it's much cleaner. Wait one sec. Like that. And then you go over to edit overlays by pressing square. Right, uh there it is. Bottom left. And then you can just like delete it. Or align it, whatever you want to do. You can even change the like, intensity of it. So you've got uh, like hundred percent basically there. Ruthless. Just aim it in even more. I'll just go ahead and delete that. Now another thing, once you've edited the entire video, you can then go all the way over to the start, or like here, and add music. So you've got roughly like 20 or 30 songs to choose, well, about 20 songs to choose from. Uh, they're not that good. I do recommend like this one here. But well, I don't, I don't actually use those because I can just like. Well, what you can do is get like a speaker and put your mic right next to the speaker and play a song. So like any song you want, or you can even download music, which says import from USB there. Then you can also add a track. So you have uh, add like a video. So if if you have like a PlayStation camera. Can do that, or we can record a clip or record audio. So basically, you speaking in the share factory. And add a clip, haven't tried this out yet. So, what happens here? Let's try it. So, I think you can like speak over it. Let's try this. Yeah, so in the top right hand corner, you can have like a camera view of you while speaking in the video. And another thing is the volume, like volume of the clip. Can't say that for some reason. So at the moment it's at hundred percent. You can put it down to like if you put it down to about thirty, you can hear the music more than like you speaking or the actual gameplay. Just go from like this like this to this. So it's like a lot more quieter. Or we can put it all the way up to two hundred. And that is basically everything you need to know on how to edit on Share Factory. So if you did enjoy this video, just like leave it and give it a like and subscribe if you are new. Because we are getting much close to 1.2k now. I think we're just over 40 subs away now. Alright guys, peace.